It's got everything a fairy story should have. Fun. Go power. Pluck. It's like, yeah. The magic of love. And a joy and an openness. It is magical. There's enough in there for everybody. We're quite camp with it all as well. It's just such an unusual take on a story that you think you know already. We've taken all the syrup uh, that Disney ladened it with. We've removed that and put some of the, the feistiness and the, the darkness back into the tale. I mean, I believe children should be scared slightly. Having that delicious baddie, which is our mother. Who's, um, well, she's not very nice, is she? We have a very feisty Ella. She's got a little bit of an oomph behind her that says, you know, I'm not having it. Mm. She's brilliant. She's not your average passive sort of Cinderella, I guess. She's suited and booted and ready to go. The prince is a different type of strong male as well. He's smart and he's considered. And I wouldn't be at all surprised if he was to ask me to be his wife. Ultimately, this, this story is about love. Oh, I don't know what is this. <laughs> <laughs> you feel you feel more. It's funny, and then it's moving, and then it's just what you hope love will be. And where they come from means nothing at all, because it's everything to do with love. That is what the magic is, when two people fall in love. Just much needed mm. at all times. Yeah, particularly now. Everyone loves it because it makes them remember that they're human beings. Sometimes it's right in front of your nose, sometimes it's just behind you, or sometimes it's just up in the trees singing to you. Grrrr!